Hey guys, it's Punchy, and today I have a pretty fun build for you that revolves around support with a heavy weapon. This is my first experience with heavy weapons so far, but I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Also, before starting off today's video, I want to thank you guys for the huge support on my latest video of Vision Shaper. It seems like the new video is popping off, and hey, if you want new information about new updates and stuff in games, stick around the channel for guides to come. Lastly, it seems we just hit 13,000 even before the end of this month. It's truly insane, and thanks again. This build is probably my highest level build for no reason in particular, so I think it's viable despite its meme stat distribution. As a level 56, I have 13 strength, 57 fortitude, 3 agility, 0 intelligence, of course, 100 in willpower, 30 in charisma, and 100 in heavy weapon. This build was not optimized for the newly added greatswords, but if I get to 25 strength, I'll be using the enforcer's blade. I do not have an enchant on this build, but I do have a bell, so consider this end game. I think that the perfect enchant for this willpower based con would be the curse of the no life king because it gives healing at the cost of sanity. Luckily, insanity isn't really a problem for us. Alright, so to start off this build as a Chad heavy weapons user, we must abandon our elements in order to fight with pure strength. Don't worry, the lightning build is coming, but I've been having trouble getting lightning cloak myself. I chose to play as a con because I think they are thematically the strongest race if you think about animals. I mean, a monkey or a gorilla god is much stronger than a mere street cat. If you want to remake this build, aim for drip because con is pretty sweet with a huge weapon in my opinion. So first things first, we have to level up normally without trial of one because that was just added recently. So off to Banda Island. I had no real goal for this build. The 100 willpower was for my willpower video and surprisingly it worked out. Luckily for us, willpower is the better version of the fortitude stat due to the great amount of health it provides. I've heard from other content creators that they just spec into willpower instead of fortitude to get their health down. I didn't really know this, but hey, I think willpower players deserve the health because insanity resistance is kind of underpowered. This is going to take a while to level up willpower, so I'd say go to the depths as soon as possible. The oath I chose was obviously blind seer for the additional sandy and because it fits the theme as a cool, calm, and collected depths diver. Try saying that three times fast. Alright, so let's get into the meat of this build and start off with my mantras. My first mantra that I use in almost all of my builds now is exhaustion strike. Pretty much it removes my posture and lasts for great combos on hit. Beware the ether cost of this mantra, but overall extremely powerful and heavy build. Insignia gem on this for faster windup. The second mantra I'm using is strong left. This move is the obvious hard hitting punch, but its damage is not what I use it for. With a wind gem on this move, I use it to get my opponents off of me while I can close the gap and try to go for a running attack. This usually works best with a greatsword. The third mantra that is exceptional in mix ups, range attacks, and combos is pressure blast. Although it's not what it used to be, pressure blast allows for pressure on block and on hit, leaving the opponent in a ragdoll state for just enough time to push forward. I should be modding the hell out of this, but I saved my ether for better mantras. Bloodless Shaman this just for bonus healing. Speaking of better mantras, on to the next. The best mantra is Gaze, or what I've renamed it to, Sardonic Smile. By using your INTJ stare, gaze into the souls of your enemies and get in close. Due to your suggestions on my willpower video, I indeed put a wayward gem on this ability, allowing me to teleport around on every single proc. It's very unexpected and can go crazy with heavy attacks. Whenever I'm playing, I always want to have this active, so nobody knows when I'm going to teleport, when I'm going to go in for an attack, then I don't even know, so it keeps it fun for me as well. I put a ton of vibrant gems and eternal log stones on this to enhance the time and insanity effect of this. The final move that I have makes this build so much better than I expected. Reinforce, or what I've named Inspire, is an ability that is gained through using a shield and can be used to buff your allies. This move allows teammates to get up quickly or something, but there are some pretty nice modifying cards. Rare Talents, Grant Support, and Lord Commander allow me to heal while hitting anybody with a buff on this thing while also healing them. I would have preferred the talent that drains health of enemies, but hey, extra healing on this move makes it great for depths farming with a group. Blue Gem on this. Some talents that help me out with my permanent depth seeker build actually stem from the willpower path this time. Giant Slayer is a talent that is easy to obtain at the start of the game and allows for more damage to larger foes. Now that Exoskeleton has been wrecked, I recommend putting your points into willpower in the trial of one to make half the trials a breeze. When I'm low, my mantras don't cost anything for 3 seconds, and with last resort, I can deal more damage when extremely low. If I'm ever very low, I can cast Inspire for free to give some health back to myself. Some other talents that increase the amount of hits I can take are Turtle Shell, which reduces backstab damage and negates Spine Cutter when I have a shield on my back. The talent Warrior's Swing reduces the overall damage I take when I'm swinging with Hyper Armor. As a heavy weapons enthusiast, this happens often, so free damage reduction on almost every attack I make. The last pair of talents that can reduce incoming damage further can be found within Charisma. When hitting somebody with a mantra, put some hearts on them which further reduce their damage to me. Instead of putting all my stats into health, I take less damage instead. Also remember when your gaze hits, this procs the charm effect. Gaze is unblockable so you're always going to have reduced damage. If you want to slow down the video, I'll show off all of my talents here. Now, time to measure my bell. This amplifies my irritating playstyle to the maximum. In my last video, I had run it back which lasted for quite a long time, but had a massive casting time due to the rerolling flaw. This build has the lightning variant, but the casting time is normal speed and I believe the time is longer. Having a Kamikaze Heavy Weapons Berserker teleporting to you in combat while being invincible is quite a scary sight. 
Also, when I teleport back, I can just pop my Inspire to heal up without risk. This is perfect because it matches my Inspire particle as well, and extra teleportation matches with my Gaze Wayward Meme. My armor of choice is the Black Diver Fit, which is perfect for Dev Swellers like me, and the increased Ether Regen works great for maximum Reservoir builds. All my cosmetics I got before the cosmetic update came out, but I still love how it looks right now. The weapon I use is the wonderful Petra's Anchor, which I believe is one of the better blunt weapons in the game. Dropping from Kaido, this weapon is a direct upgrade to the Pale Morning. Also, it's straight up May's stupid ass weapon from Guilty Gear, and hey, this character embodies her annoying spirit. Now that's really it for this build. Let me know what I should do next, but as of now, enjoy a couple fights to showcase how this build performs. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe for more unique builds and informative guides. Have a good one!